Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you some uh, features or some hidden things uh, about the car that you might not know already. Uh, some things can help you in the bind. Uh, some things are pretty cool. Some things are you might not use them at all. Um, but stay tuned to the last one because uh, the last one is pretty interesting about how the engine works uh, and it has to do with the rev matching, which I'm sure everyone knows that the car, when you downshift, rev matches for you. Uh, but what I've noticed is that when I upshift, uh, the car also kind of rev matches as well, uh, which is a cool feature and I'm gonna get it on video for you guys so I can show you how that works. Uh, so stay tuned. Okay, one thing uh, that's kind of hidden, but I think it's pretty commonplace nowadays is that most key fobs have a separate key that you can uh, take with you in case you ever go to like a valet and you wanna give your, you know, your fob over so they can park your car, but you still want access uh, to your car you can give them uh, the valet key or you can keep the valet key uh, and that's really easy on this car on the 11th gen civics on the fob there's like this little notch here that you press down uh, and then the key just kind of comes out uh, and this key uh, I'm going to show you where it goes on, on the doorknob because um, the handle because uh, there is no little there's no hole for the key so I'm going to show you a little hidden a thing about it is where this key goes and some tricks that you can actually do with the key uh, so I'm going to show you that but just again you know it's really easy it goes in there there's this little you know this little notch right here in the key you just press it down and then pull the key out and there you go pretty easy and pretty simple now the next thing I'm going to show you guys I think is also pretty common knowledge is that you know you can roll down the windows uh, from your car from your key fob and that's if you just hold uh, the open you know the unlock button twice uh, and if you do that, the windows, uh, pretty much all the windows in for, in, if you have a sunroof, uh, they will, then, you know, the windows will roll down and the sunroof will open. Okay, so here we are. Here's my car. I'm going to um, tap on the key, the unlock button once and then tap it again for a second time and hold it down. And then just keep holding it down and eventually the windows and you can see the sunroof will open. Now, you have to keep holding it. Otherwise, if you let go, the windows will only roll down partially. Now remember that little key uh, that I showed you guys that you kind of have to pull away from the fob? Now I just showed you how to roll down the windows, uh, but for whatever reason, if the battery dies or something like that, and the, you know, the key fob doesn't work, uh, and you, there's no way to unlock the door, uh, and your windows are down, and you, you, know, you need a way to get in, you will need to use this key to get in your car. And I'm gonna show you where on the door handle it is. It's a little hidden, uh, but pretty easy to find. So you can unlock your car and get into it. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you another trick to uh, roll up your windows and close the windows with using this key. Okay guys, so here we are. My windows are rolled down, my battery's out. I have no way of unlocking the door because you know the, the fob won't work because the battery's dead. Uh, the doors won't unlock because the car battery's dead. And the only way that I can get in is with this key, which should be able to be used but if you look closely here at the door handle there's no hole for the key so you know what gives what do i do well the actual key actually goes in there i don't know if you can see it let me see if i can get you a better angle you just have to lift the doorknob and there's the key so you basically insert the key there and that's how you open the car and a little trick is if you insert the key and turn it left twice to lock it'll actually roll up your windows so let me show you that. Okay guys, there you can see, I'm gonna try to put my phone there so you can kind of see it, okay? So there's the key lock, right? I'm gonna put the key inside the little hole here. And then what you do is you can turn to the right. And you hear, oh, you, you heard that little snap? And that basically unlocks the car. And then now, when I open it, when I take it, Is that let me put the key back in here the car just locked so i put the key back in there now you can actually close your windows and the sunroof if you just turn while the key's in there you turn the key left twice you turn once and then on the second time you hold it and the windows will actually go up all right now if i want to roll my windows up all i gotta do is i gotta insert this key into here and then turn twice to the left and then the second time you hold it, it'll close your windows for you. Got my key in, then I turn once, and then I turn twice, and I hold it. See how it closes the windows and the sunroof as well. So now if you're ever stuck and you need to close your windows or anything, and you don't have your fob, and you only have this key, and you need a way to get in or close the door or lock it, 
that's how you do it. All right, guys, the next trick is how to access your trunk. Uh, if you're ever in a bind and for whatever reason your trunk gets stuck or again, most of the situation here, yeah, because everything's electronic, it's if your battery runs out and you can't get into the car, you need something in the trunk, you need absolute access to it, but it doesn't work. You know, the, the trunk, the little fob thing isn't working. Uh, so the way to do that is actually in the back seat, driver's side, uh, there's a little panel that'll show you that you're gonna pop open and there's gonna be like this little string that you pull and that manually opens the trunk. Uh, so depending on your situation, you might need to, you know, if the battery's completely out of the car or something, you need to get in. Remember, you can get into the car with this little key if the fob isn't working, and then you make your way, actually, I'll show you, to the back of the car, and then you're going to pop open this little lid, and then you're going to pull on the string. Okay, guys, so I'm going in here to the back of my car, is the, the driver's side, as I mentioned, and then back here, not that, that, there's this little panel there, I'm going to put my my fob there and i'm just going to use my key to kind of go in and kind of pop you know it doesn't take much effort you go in and pop it and then in there there's this string right here and then all you're going to do is just pop it and i don't know if you heard it but you can definitely see that my trunk is popped and voila guys there my pop my trunk is popped you know if you ever need access to it you go in and then you just you know you close it and then we're all set all right, guys, the next uh, little hidden feature or trick uh, in the car is, has to do with the wipers. Now, for the new generation, the wipers, you know, there's no little springs in the on your hood that, you know, shoot up the, uh, the liquid to the wiper fluid that helps you clean uh, your windshield. Now they're built into the actual wiper itself, uh, which sometimes make it hard if you need to maintenance them or change them out or something like that. If you try pulling on them, they actually hit the hood if you just do it from the rest position which i'll show you uh, but there's actually a way that you can make it so they come up and stay so that way you can if you need to change them or if you need to do something with the little you know spritzers and that are mounted onto the the wiper itself uh, i'm going to show you how to do that real quick it's actually super easy so if you look right now these are my wipers you can see this is what i'm talking about they're mounted on this is what puts the water on the actual a windshield as you're as you're wiping when you need to clean the windshield from the outside but to actually get them up if you pull up you can see it hits right there on the car there's no way to pull them all the way up so i'm going to show you they're actually going to come up to about here and they're going to stay and that way if you need to change them or do anything with the mounting system uh, it'll actually be a lot easier and you won't have to you know scratch up your paint or you won't be banging on it at all all right guys to get the windshield wipers to come up so that they're in maintenance mode it's actually very easy what you're going to do is you're going to press the start stop button you're going to do it twice so all the lights come up and electricity is going through the car you know the dash comes up and then what you're going to do is you're actually going to press it one more time to turn it off and then you're going to put this little lever and you're going to hold it up and then so once i do that i'm going to turn it off put it up and then you're going to see that they boop. so you can see that the wipers are there the mechanism uh, is there for if you want to wash them um, or if you want to remove them or completely change them out this is the way to do it otherwise you're going to be hitting the front of your your hood and it's going to get all scraped up and stuff you don't want to do that uh, so this is kind of the better way because they pull all the way up to the front you can remove them uh, you can inspect the little you know spritzers here that shoot out the water uh, and it's just a better way uh, to kind of use um, the wipers and maintenance mode. now another feature that your civic has is that if you ever if the gas door ever gets stuck meaning it's frozen it won't come out or anything like that there's actually a way for you to open it manually from the inside of your trunk uh so let me okay, show so you so here we are my door my gas door it won't open for these cars usually you push and it pops open oh no what what am i gonna do uh, so there's actually if you you know i open my trunk here if you actually look underneath the trunk and you look right in there there's that little lever now what you do is you just pull it ugh, and that should open the door so now put up now another common thing with the gas can is that sometimes you, you run out of gas you get stuck in the middle of nowhere and you don't have one of those you know red can gas cans that you can go to the gas station and get and you basically have to put gas in whatever you find a water bottle you know what have you and you know it's kind of hard to fit the water bottle into the actual um, intake for the gas so the car actually has a little funnel for you that you can use just in, in that very case so here it is you know if you're trying to put gas in here it's kind of hard it, you know you're not going to fit a water bottle in there it's going to be very difficult for you so actually in the trunk of your car where they keep your you know you don't get a, a full spare but in your kit back here there's a little funnel that you could use and you can take that out and use 
to put gas in if you don't have one of those you know nice red can gas cans that has a funnel built in hey guys so now what i'm going to show you is that uh, super cool feature that i think i've never seen this before on a manual car uh it's a rev matching i think uh, on the upshift so when you're driving and say you go from like first to second or second to third um, when the rpms fall the car will actually hold the rpms at exactly the point that you need to shift kind of like a rev matching uh, and it works both ways on the downshift and the, the the cool part the special part is the upshift i know everyone knows about the downshift uh, but i've never seen it on an upshift maybe i'm just ignorant um, but I thought it was a really cool feature and I'm going to try to show you here on a, on a closed road. Um, I'm going to probably go from second to third and I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, when I'm driving in second gear and then I'm going to put the clutch in and I'm just going to leave the clutch in and I'm, I'm going to, you're going to see the RPMs fall and there's going to be like a second where it just, it c keeps falling and then it stops. And that's the little, the little red match for you to switch gears. And that's like the perfect time to switch it. So it's a very smooth transition. So I'm going to try to show you that here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So here I am. I'm in first gear. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay. Switch to second gear. I'm going to go a little bit. Now watch. I'll go a little bit faster. Watch the RPMs. Clutch is all the way in right there. See how it held it for just a second and it holds it so you can switch gears upshifting and making it kind of the smoothest it can be which i think is the coolest thing all right guys here we go again i'm in first gear switch to second gear i'm gonna go oh, i'm going up okay i'm gonna even i'm gonna switch to third gear okay now i'm gonna try to show you the trick okay so clutch all the way in right there it holds it holds it and then it drops so that's just a little trick for you uh, if you ever you know have trouble upshifting or it's a little bit rough or you're learning uh, that's a little trick for you to kind of learn where you should be shifting the car kind of does it for you all right guys so that does it here for the kind of the hidden features and the tricks that i found in the car uh, i really thought that uh you know the upshifting um ref matching little feature uh is really really cool i didn't even know the car did that until i like had noticed one time i was just driving and i just kind of left the clutch in because i was turning or something and i noticed that like you know it hung there uh, so i kind of tested it out and it was kind of cool to see that that exists um but if you guys have any other tips or tricks that you guys can think of that, or that you found out on accident or that, you know, that I didn't mention, because I'm sure there's a lot of them, uh, feel free to, you know, just write them down in the, the comment section below. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this type of content uh, and let me know what you guys think.